we've taken that really literally. We started with the engine, frames bolt to the front, subframes bolt to the back, uh, and that's what creates the motorcycle. We're delivering this powertrain with a, a brand new displacement, so 975 cc's, variable valve timing, a downdraft air intake system that really helps this engine deliver torque, deliver power. Seeing it finally come together is pretty exciting. There's nothing on this bike that doesn't need to be there. The sole of this motorcycle is, you know, gritty and rebel and raw. And so that's where we get some of these cast looking finishes and really pull some of the surfaces forward and backwards. And that's how we play with your eye and give it visual interest. Yeah, the Revolution Max has a really interesting combination of all that technology, all that performance, the power, the torque, but at the same time it's got all the craftsmanship that comes along with being built at Pilgrim Road here in Milwaukee. The weight of the new Nightster is 485 pounds. You know, that's nearly an 80 pound reduction over Sportsters of today. Pull it up off the kickstand, you'll feel how light this is. And as you ride down the road, the handling that comes with it, those two come together and they really make for a rocket ship of a motorcycle once you throw your leg over this. And one of the biggest challenges with Nightster was trying to cram this like beast of an engine and fitting that into something that's recognizably Sportster that has that iconic silhouette that millions of people around the world are familiar with and know and love. It's probably one of the biggest points of tension in the project is how do you solve that combination of fuel, air volume, running into that proportion and silhouette that people expect. And in the end, the dual outboard shocks and the architecture of the motorcycle allowed a really radical solution to put the fuel underneath the seat. And that frees up the area that would traditionally be the fuel tank up here to become only airbox, and it allowed us to get this into the size of the old Sportster fuel tank. Yeah, there are other uh, benefits that we get from that too. When we move the fuel tank under, underneath the seat here, the center of gravity of the bike stays low, which actually helps to make this bike feel even lighter and more maneuverable. We've increased the lean angle by three to five degrees on each side of the bike compared to Sportsters of today. Uh, we have three ride modes, rain, road, and sport, especially riding this bike in sport mode. This bike is fast. You can run it all the way out to over 9,000 RPM, and it just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling the whole way. It almost feels like you have two different types of engine, right? Like if you're used to riding Harley-Davidson's, like the low end up to five, 6,000 RPM might feel a little bit familiar to you, but on top of that, You've got like this whole other rev range and this whole other character that really brings brings the horsepower, brings the speed and the exhilaration to this bike. So when we design a motorcycle, we're always making sure that the choices that we make enable customization and they allow riders and builders to make these bikes their own kind of instruments of expression. One small example of that on Nightster is that we're using a separate riser system and that you could put tall risers on there, you could put a differently shaped handlebar on there but the choices that we've made in the design in that particular area, they're not precluding any style of motorcycle. You can build it with clip-ons, you can build it with a T-bar, you can build it with A-pangers. <laughs> Another O-ring, and then the space. Also ich finde hier diese, diese, dieser Bereich, der ist schon ist jetzt eins. besser. Ja. Jetzt ist das eins. Ja, der schwarze Motor, der macht mega viel aus. Sieht direkt viel brutaler aus. Ja. Das Sportstar. Ja. Perfekt. Jetzt sieht man Jetzt vollständig. Das ist komplett, ja. ja. Das ist ganz cool, auch vor allem für die Leute, die sich Gedanken. Krass. 
タブオートバイのカスタムビルダーになったのはもともとデザインの仕事がしたくて美術大学に行ったんですけどヨーロッパバイクのロッカーズっていう本かなを見てバイクすげえかっこいいと思って。それがあんまり肌に合わなくて、まあ、面白くなかったんでその時にずっとバイクに乗っててオートバイをカスタムするっていう仕事を知ってそれでビルダーになりたいカスタムバイクを作る仕事をしたいと思ってこの仕事をやっています。カスタムするバイクで一番うちうちっていうか僕が大切にしてるのはもう全体のバランスやっぱ一個一個のパーツがかっこよくてももうパーツの集合体なんでバイクって車のように一つのボディではないんで今回のこのバイクみたいにアルミを叩いて作ってるんですよね。